Back with uh, Ted Nugent. We were talking uh, just a second ago about uh, two, two places uh, and, two, and two styles of uh, government. First extreme, of all, let's, extreme yeah. difference. Let's start with, uh, let's start with uh, Rick Perry, uh, the governor of Texas. Great man. Texas is great. You know what? But where is he on the border? The biggest thing that is... I know. I've almost come to fisticuffs over that one. Uh, the Texas border, there's a military term. I use two of the three sil syllables. It's a cluster. Um, it's a it's a wreck. It's and, and in my book Ted White and Blue I elaborate. You know I don't have a border problem. I don't. Have, there's no invaders on my property. The message is clear. Invade my property, I'll kill you. You invade my home, I'll kill you. Nobody invades my home and nobody getting killed. That's the pretty much the solid message in Texas. But but we haven't done it as a nation. I believe that, you know, Rick did increase the border security. He called the National Guard. He's got more and more Texas Rangers. He's got more and more law enforcement down there. But that Ramon, uh, the two agents, Ramos oh, yeah, and, and, Combion. and Combion, that they're still in jail uh, is an indictment yeah. to the flagrant, not injustice, anti-justice. And I got to tell you, I wish that Rick Perry and all the governors along the border would come up and go, wait a second, we like drug runners getting shot. Mm -hmm. We like drug runners scared. We don't like drug runners rewarded and used as state witnesses. This is Planet of the Apes personified. It is, it is upside I down. Heard, wrong. I had heard a theory. Um, let's try this out for size. That the reason, well, the only thing that makes sense is either we're in bed for some, you know, mex America Canada, or try this one that Bush has made a deal with Mexico and says, we've got problems, we've got problems down in, uh, in your country and in South America with real terrorists. We want you to know, we're gonna turn a blind eye and everything. You let one bad guy, one terrorist across our border, one guy, we need you to go kill some people down there because we can't do it. You go take care of some messes for us and uh, we'll turn a blind eye. Think there's a chance that's true? Yeah, yeah clear and present danger. Um, there's a lot of manipulation going on that down there. But just that our, that our masters, our trained commandos of law and order, yeah. all the different divisions of law enforcement, their hands are tied. I know. It's, it's and, and we send everybody a horrible says message. Everybody says they support our troops, but those guys are just as much troops as anybody else. And they're ready. They're they're ready. ready. Oh, they're, I can't able. even imagine what their morale is. Okay, let me, now let me take you to Detroit. God bless you. Where they just sold a house for a dollar. A dollar. Well, here it is. I give you the mayor of Detroit. Oh, boy. And the corresponding tragedy of one out of four children graduating. We have a, a gangster mayor, just the lowest form of life, who celebrates all the wrong things about society. And in the shadow of that mindset and modus operandi, one out of four kids graduate. I want to cry right here on your TV show. What a great city growing up in Detroit. The Motown Funk Brothers to this day, their work ethic, their spirit, their, their goodwill and decency as gentlemen that inspired me as a guitar player in the 50s. They're with me every night on stage. And then I look, Glenn, I go back to Detroit and the same buildings that were boarded up in 1967 are still boarded up. It's amazing. It's a beautiful river. It's a beautiful river. The number one walleye and smallmouth fishery on the planet. You got the people catching this wonderful fish. It's cleaned up. It's wonderful. And then you got this big scab, this self-inflicted scab that people choose to keep that way. It's a choice. Those are choices. Because see, <clears throat> this is where I come back to... Americans will only take it so long because there are two, we are, we're splitting. I think humanity is splitting. You're splitting to, you know what, I, I, I believe in me, I believe in you, I believe in anybody who wants to get in there and go pick And there's it. a lot of us. I, yeah, there's a lot, lot of us. I think there's a majority of us who are, who are willing to do, we try to do the right thing. We try to uh, be in there. And then everybody else who's just like, give it to me for free. I want well, my everybody. kid to... No, no, no. Good, I'm saying bad, the other ugly. side. Yeah, the other the, side and it's is... a growing other side. That's the tragedy. It's increasing. The entitlement mentality is that uh, I can get the welfare, but because I'm, I'm going to... Because I think people have said enough. You know what? I can't do it anymore. I can't fight against it anymore, because no matter where I go... I'm still fighting. 
I, I fight know. every day. I fight every day. There's good, it's 2008, and I'm with you. All your observations are accurate and, and demand action. Mm -hmm. And I'm demanding action of myself, and thank God for you. But there's a lot of us. Yeah. You go to my website. I have a talk back at tednugent.com. You should see these people. You can actually hear sleeves getting rolled up and, and shaking hands turning into fists. They're really getting fed up, but they're, but they're channeling it properly, finally, in activism. It's 2008. We have a lot of problems. There's good, bad, and ugly. I fight to optimize the good. And, Glenn, i got to tell you, I'm having the best tour of my life. My band is so good, Mick Brown and Greg Smith. My crew, my management, everybody involved with me. This is the best tour of my life. And it's gonna be the best hunting season of my life. All my hunters, I sell hunts every year. They're all sold out. We have more deer than I can shake a machine gun at. We have lots of game, wildlife is thriving, but I optimize the good while fighting to reduce, if not eliminate the bad and the ugly. Unfortunately, there's a metastasizing of that entitlement mentality. And here it is, I hate to say this, but it's so true. I and all my friends, everybody I know, every walk of life, they don't, they don't want the country to do squat for them. They want to get up and yeah. do everything they can for their country. Right. Yet I'm watching the Democrat convention and I'm going, what happened to what can I, I do for my country? These people okay. are going, I'm not doing anything for my country, and here's a list of stuff that you got to do for me. I want you pay for my kid's education. I'm not going to make my kid get a job because you all. I want you to take care of my health, even though I smoke and drink and weigh 350 pounds. You're not going to stop. Back with rapid fire in just a second.